Hi physics viewers, you're watching Physics Hood. Just imagine a situation where quantum particles are being influenced by nothing at all. <clears throat> I think I should give details of what I'm yapping about. And what I mean by nothing is that a very long time ago we created this completely theoretical concept of a field or a vector potential, which are just used to ease calculations by the way. And what physicists have thought for a really long time is that this vector potential idea can never really affect physical stuff or quantum stuff. But these two physicists, David Baum and Yaker Arnav, gave a really bizarre idea, which was later tested by another physicist, Robert Chambers. An upgraded version of double slit, if you will. They added a solenoid in between the slit and the screen, and by the way, solenoid is essentially this device in which current is run along the wires which then creates a magnetic field inside of it. And electrons were shot on the screen while the solenoid was on and when it was off. But the caveat to this experiment is that the magnetic fields cannot affect the electrons directly and the screen pattern would be the same in both cases. And when he noted the results? Oh my god, it's so exciting! The electrons made different patterns. How did that happen? Did something went wrong? No, it's actually the magnetic vector potential which affected these electrons. Well, electrons behave like waves, and waves have this property of phase. Phase is basically the same idea as you have studied in trig, like there's a phase difference of pi by 2 between a sine and a cosine wave. So when physicist Robert Chambers saw that electron screen pattern, he saw exactly that phase difference. So basically, this vector potential which is present around the solenoid due to the magnetic field is affecting the electrons. But how do we know that it is the magnetic vector potential? Long ago, there was another great physicist, Erwin Schrodinger. Yes, exactly the guy who did the cat thought experiment, who gave an equation uh, to describe the wave function of quantum stuff. Or in our case, how we can use this equation to describe how that wave behavior changed. If we plug in some values in this partial differential equation, of both the case in which the magnetic field was on and off and if we carry out some mass it can be clearly seen that the two equations so formed are different and according to these the expected behavior of electrons is supposed to be different in both scenarios and it is those patterns due to the magnetic vector potential this thing still kind of boggles my head but isn't it amazing that something that was thought to be mathematically possible is right there affecting electrons? If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, also please do correct me in the comments if I'm wrong somewhere because I'm still a sort of a newbie YouTuber. And another thing that this is fully not AI generated. Anyways, see you later.